years that I didn't have those opportunities growing up, bro. I, I spent most of my life fucking off in the street, bro. And I played football in high school, but I never took the shit serious, bro. And even with me not having the proper support, the proper resources, I still got myself super far. And I went, and it all went to shit. And when I think back on that, and I just think if I had a little more direction, if I had another me in my life, I can only imagine where I would have gone. And that's why this shit be so personal to me. Because, like I've told you on numerous occasions, Badger, you are me all over again. I feel like I get another chance to do this shit over. You know, in life, you only get one life. You know that, right? You only get one of these things. I feel like I got my second. I feel like I get a chance to do it over. Although I physically can't do it over, I feel like I'm getting a shot to do it over. And that's why I go so damn hard. I'm just, where do you find a, the motivation to do what you do? How do you stay so consistent? Because I feel like it's me. I feel like I'm, if I knew then a quarter of the shit that I know now, nothing would have been able to stop me. Nothing. And I feel like I got all this fucking knowledge, all this wisdom and direction. Understanding jewels life experience and I'm just sitting on it I'm just like sitting on all this shit and it's like what do you do with it I gotta fucking stop bro. that's why I pour all this shit into you and again it's, it's bigger than just football football is just one slice of this because that was something that was near and dear to me that's why I pour it all into you that's why I'm very careful strategic about what the fuck I do because I know those pitfalls I know the traps and I've told you this hella times Badger. that's why I overcompensate with you that's why I overcompensate with you how I raise you the shit that I expose you to I know the pitfalls homie and I tell you all the time you never know when I'm up out of here Digest these jewels, digest these experiences. Don't take this shit for granted. And that's why I raise you so fucking hard. If you want to know the truth, why I'm always on your bumper, why I'm always on you the way I am. Because you don't grow up the way I did. You don't live the way I lived. You're not exposed to the shit that I was exposed to. And although a lot of that shit was garbage, a lot of that shit was counterproductive. There's a lot of things that I got in them streets, in them avenues, on them number blocks that's helped sustain me in life that you'll never understand what that smell like. You'll never know what it looked like because you don't live like that. So that's why I try to keep you balanced and give you the best of both worlds. And I never want you to lose that hunger, bro. When I see you, I don't want to see no overly fucking privileged, spoiled child. Never apologize for living well, ever. But respect the struggle. Because that's what your daddy come from. The life you live in, I don't know that life. But the life I live, you don't know that life. So how the hell do I blend them shits together? That's why I'm on you the way I'm on you, son. Kids that be overly privileged and super spoil you, they get caught lacking, dog. Whether it's on the football field or in life, man. Now I don't ever want that to be you. Keep that fucking hunger. Keep that hunger, dog. Even when you got a lot, stay hungry. So what we just left, that wasn't just for you. That shit did something for me as well, man. It did something for me. It, 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 it re-motivates me. That shit inspires me. It makes me even 
it makes me want to go harder because I know it I know to get you in that room bro I know what it's gonna take Take that, take that person. Take that person. And in order to get in that room we just left, it's a lot of work you're gonna have to do out here, Badger. It's a lot of sacrifice that you're gonna have to keep doing, which you've been doing for years, but you have to keep doing. Stay focused and stay locked up. Now remember. You're 11 years old, going for it, bro. You may not, and I've told you this for many years, you may not always agree with, with my decisions, bro. You may not always agree with my decisions when it comes to you. But you trust me, though, right? Yes, sir. Do you trust me? Yes, sir. All right, so even when you don't agree with my decisions, the bar that I'm not telling you, hey, Badger, go run out in the fucking street and run in front of the goddamn car. You might want to be looking at me like, Pop, what the hell going on with you? Outside anything crazy like that, even when you don't understand, bro, I need you to continue trusting me. I need you to continue trusting me, bro. And that trust is the trust is that's what we that's what you exchange for when you don't understand. Goddamn why, bro. You trust me? Yes, sir. That's that's why you do it. Because what I know and what I see right now, you might not be able to see. Separate and detour from the plan, bro. Don't ever separate and detour from the plan, got you. Don't ever get so big where you think your shit don't stink. And you think you know more than what you think you know. Before that happened, I would rather you come sit down with me and say, God, I need to rap with you. I need to holler with you. This is what I'm thinking. This was on my mind. And even still, Badger, even if you come to me like that, that don't mean it's going to go the way that you want it to go. But I respect it as a man. And I've raised you like that to have a fucking voice. To be a free, independent thinker. Don't allow yourself to be boxed in and doing things the way society tell you it need to be done. at the age where you know what's going on out here, bro. There's a lot of shit that's getting, that can sidetrack you, bro. Derail you, bro. There's a lot of that going on out here. And that's why I, I go so hard and I went so hard with your foundation, bro. Get your slip on, you. you understand? Yes, sir. All right, I love you, man. Thank you.